Hey guys, physical assessment should be put into a certain context. And by that I mean, if you were a nurse that have been off for a few days and you come to the unit and you're like, whoa, who are all these new patients and I don't understand what's going on. And you're kind of working from scratch, which kind of sucks, but you still have to be prepared for this kind of situation because it will happen. Um, if you get to the unit about at least like 15 minutes early, you can look at your patients that you're assigned to and then think about their, um, what they need and who, might, who may or may not be stable at first. Uh, while you still have a few minutes, go look into their history and then especially look at their labs. See what works and what doesn't and what's abnormal and what's high, what's low. Finally, you have to look around for your uh, offgoing nurse and see if they can give you a report on the patient that you're about to inherit. Now this kind of sucks because everybody's going back and forth and you're trying to look for your nurse and you have a deadline, man. You have to be able to see and get reports on all your patients right away before you have to give out medications. And there's usually a morning rush if, when you work in the daytime. But once you're able to figure all this out and you finally get the nurse that you need to talk to, Go into the room, talk to the patient, introduce yourself, very important, wash your hands and make sure that they see that, and then get a good report. Let the nurse talk, don't interrupt. But if the nurse tells you something obscure, be sure to ask a question, and that's okay to interrupt then, okay? Um, if it involves a patient uh, and you're not quite sure what happened and you're not getting everything that you need from the report, well, then you need to be able to talk to the nurse and say, hey, look, before you go, can you please tell me, you know, like, w did, you have any, did you have a lot of pain meds? Did it work? You know, did it, your breakthrough pain, was the patient's breakthrough pain controlled? Does he ha still have the uh, peripheral IVs? Or does he have a central catheter, central line catheter? Um, stuff like that, you know, like very important stuff that may pertain to your patient depending on his or her condition. So, you know, I mean... The reason why I think you should do these fast is not because med, you, know, you have to give out meds and hang bags of IV and infuse them over time. You know, there's a lot you need to do in those first few hours of med surge in the daytime. And you need to be able to be on your feet and you can't be slow. Um, but you, can't, you also should not be inaccurate. The reason why is you have to be just, um, what's a good word for it? You have to have a good rhythm because after you do a mini assessment, a fast assessment on your patient, then you have to be able to write and chart the stuff down and it takes a while. Once you do have a lull after maybe you've given your medications, you can start to ch um, type down exactly what assessments you saw, what was abnormal, and it doesn't have to be exactly what the offgoing nurse saw because you're charting on what you saw. You know, it may not be the same, it doesn't necessarily mean that no charting has to be conflicting but you know if you see something different in the patient than what the night shift saw you need to report what you saw and don't just assume you know if the patient has uh, pain at 2 out of 10 and you're like okay well you know this medication has been working pretty well for him I'm just gonna say that it did work and just put down a 0 out of 10 no okay you need to be able to go to the room and you need to get your butt in there and you need to say hey do you have any pain still? Did that medication work for you? Are you still breathing well? Are you having trouble not on breathing? Uh, when was the last time you ate? When was the last time you pooped? And you know, everything you know, that you chart has to be exactly what you saw. You can't just make this crap up because it will bite you. You know, in a medical uh, court case, if they look back on the records and you say, no, 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 I swear I talked to the patient and what you wrote down and what the patient said was different, well then you've got yourself a legal battle, okay? So make sure that whatever you type into the computer is exactly what you saw when you were with a patient's bedside and chart accurately, okay? All right, back to the physical assessments. Make sure the physical assessments are going to be concise and uh, let me uh, 
I'll talk to you and I'll show you some videos on how to start going from head to toe with a basic, general, fast and quick assessment and then how you branch out um, depending on the patient's condition, how you do a few extra things uh, based on what body system is affecting the patient at the time. All right, stand by. Woo